Hello, welcome back. It's Thursday, 21st of September. Uh, it's been quite a few weeks since I put a video up about my allotment, and that's due to my bad back. Well, it's get, getting a lot better now. I'll go back to the specialist next week, and then hopefully I'll get the go ahead. Not crack on with me plot then. Uh, I've got my potatoes out. Thanks to the help of Joe and Sarah, because I can't carry nothing really, any weight. So, I'll put the video up now and you can have a look what we harvest. I think you might be quite impressed with some of the potatoes. I was. <laughs> so, I'll pop the video up. Right, it's Thursday, 7th of September. I'm going to start getting my potatoes out. So, I'm going to go along with my hands first. You can see quite a lot in there. I think I'm going to be impressed, as long as the blight hasn't got them. So, sorry if it got a bit of noise in the background, bloody building site. Right, so I'm just going to go along first. Oh, that's the old seed potato. So I'm chucking them out on there. I have to go along with a fork in a bit. Ah, uh, oh, oh Christ, look at that. I don't think you can see the size of that. Oh, and another. It's a massive. Right, I'm going to crack and do this. Oh, it's a duck. I'll bring you back when I've got them out. See what I got. Right, I've uh, got most of my potatoes up. I got carried away, and uh, a bit surprised how many I got. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Bar eat them. I look like a potato, but um, yeah, I'm quite surprised in the size of some of the potatoes, so I'll just show you. Right, these are the Picasso, and like this all the way up, but I'm going to weigh some of these, just see how big they are. They've done better where they haven't had any water. Right, I'll take you back and give you the flash around what I've got out. Right, there we go folks. There is a bit of blight in some of them. So, right, I'll show you what I've got. First row of that Picasso. These are... I want to get the camera so you can see. Cecile. I think that's how you spell it. That look quite good. Next one's a, a Sophia. These are the worst cropping ones, Inca Bell. Just, I shan't grow these again. Not say they taste brilliant. Rudolph. On these, I only put. Eight potatoes in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh it all when I'm bagging them up, then I'll just give you a clue what I've got. These are Kestrel. These were off my own potatoes last year. These are Charlotte. You can see that. Bit big, as long as they taste alright. I should probably give quite a lot of them away. 
and also I have got that's where my asparagus never grew very well, the stuff I grew myself. There is potatoes in there. I don't think there'll be much cop. But I'll get them out another day when the sunflowers are out. These are just self-seeded sunflowers. I'll do another one of the sunflower challenge. Show you what I got. I've got more potatoes over here. We've had enough for today. And uh, over there. I'll show you, I'll show you them when I get them out. Right, I'm going to just put all these in the barra. <laughs> barra, barras. Right. Oh, and also when I was getting them out, this is what I was getting for one potato. Look each root. When you look, that's got to be a pound. So I'm going to put them all in a bar and put them in my tunnel for tonight and then bag them up tomorrow because it's forecast rain. So I'll put a few, a couple of bags of the others in, see how every day weigh what I had per root. Right. I put some in the barra. I've still got this lot left. I've got a builder's barra full. And those are just two roots. Look like the biggest uh, biggest piles out of each potato. I just want to have a big. I just want to. Uh, see what they weigh, what I had per root on the biggest ones. So I'll just show you what the blight looks like in them. There we go. It stinks and a bit squidgy. You see like wet spots coming on them. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do with this lot now. <laughs> Go back in some of them up. Right, I weigh those. I haven't got the. I can't find my scale, so I'll bring some down tomorrow. Right. Right, just weighing me uh, potatoes. This is off one route. It doesn't do pounds so scale, so it's 5.710. That equals roughly 12 and a half pound of potatoes off one route. Not bad. And then I might have had a bigger potato, but it's a one of the big ones I found out. That reads uh, 1.065. That weighs 2.3 pound. Not bad. Where it's got three kilos on this piece of paper, I only put two and a half kilos in because I had quite a lot of potatoes left. And 
I put some in some pots for Christmas. I won't find the video of me doing that, I'll put it up. Right, so here's what I have for each crop. Just trying to get it so you can see it. The old Picasso turned out the best. It's in kilos because my scales don't weigh, weigh pounds, so. And I'm not at home to get it converted, and I ain't got my phone with me. Right. Uh, that was that. Uh, and I quite a lot of the Picasso were over two pound in weight. I just couldn't believe the size of them. Right. I can't find the video. I'll put me doing my potatoes up. I've got planted some Christmas. potatoes for Christmas. I don't know why I'm doing it. I've got that many potatoes, but it'd be nice to have a few new potatoes. And I had these left, so here we go. These are left over from the spring planting. They've been just sat in my greenhouse. I'm hoping they'll be all right. I think they will. But the, that, that variety there is Rudolph, Charlotte. These are Rattays. These are, I haven't got a clue. I think they're Victoria. But I'm just going to sort the best ones out because I don't want too many pots. I might do half a dozen pots, that'd be plenty. Right, I'll crack on and show you what I'm going to do. Right, I've just filled the uh, pots half full with um, compost. So, and I've put some blood fishing bone and some 6x in there. So what I could do, I'll put the first two potatoes in there, copy and muddy boots is idea, good idea, from the handles. I'll just push those below the surface. And then I'll, I'll just top it back up with more compost. And your second two go opposite the handles, you know, you're not putting them on top of each other. Right. So that's had blood fishing bone, a handful of that. And uh, I've had one of those scoopfuls of 6x, it's not that big. So that's what we're going to do, folks. I'll Get back to you and I'll put them all in what I'm going to do. On 14th of August, so I'll just show you what they look now, like now. Right, there we go, they're in 35 litre pots. I bought them in the greenhouse because I was watching Robotic Gardener, Terry King. I was watching his video and his new, first lot of new potatoes, they got blight. So I moved these straight into the greenhouse because I don't grow tomatoes in this one so this is my only cut cucumber I got left that's the last one right here's the potatoes but yesterday I just noticed I've got the odd little touch of brown on the leaf I don't think it's blight I think it had lack of water and it shriveled a bit oh yeah look this is what I mean I'm hoping it's not I keep breaking them off I think it's because uh, the leaf's just shriveled. So I'll break that leaf off. Get rid of it, don't put it near the others. I'll wash my hands before I, uh, well, I won't touch anymore. Okay, for this one. Um, thanks all for watching and subscribing and likes and the odd one that dislikes. <laughs> Up or down, <laughs> never mind. Right, so that's it folks. Uh, oh, also, it's Malvern Autumn Show this weekend. So I've got some tickets, off to there. I think I'm going on the Sunday. Uh, I'll be meeting Woody Boots there. Um, hopefully you're going to see some of the other YouTubers. 
I think there's a few exhibiting uh, giant veg, so we can say hello to those. Uh, right, ta folks.